Perfect. Let's bring you live to the coroner's court. Our reporter Jerome Hughes is there. Jerome, firstly, what sort of reaction did we get from the family in light of this? Well, Terence Wheelock's family, Alan, are devastated. This is the result they did not want. They've led a very high-profile campaign. They've been protesting and campaigning for an independent inquiry into the death of Terence Wheelock in Garda custody. They protested outside the Dáil. But they said just a few moments ago that they're heartened that three out of the four jurors could not reach the verdict of death by suicide, although, of course, a majority did, a majority of four to three. But they say this campaign is not over, that they have other options available to them. They're going to continue campaigning for an independent inquiry. Of course, they could take their own civil action if they so wish. But, of course, they'll just want to analyse uh, and just uh, try and take it in, this verdict. Uh, but they certainly are very, very uh, disappointed, and you could see how upset they were. They also felt, though, and they, they made this clear from the outset, that they felt constrained by the inquest because they couldn't include uh, in the inquest uh, during the process their own independent report that they got, had carried out by an expert. And they, they basically uh, said that... Um, but blow your fucking head off! You fucking mother... Our apologies, we'll okay, try and... leave it there, obviously. We'll try and bring you back to that live report from our reporter again. The jury in the trial of Joe O'Reilly has been told to disregard all media coverage of the case. The court has also heard the prosecution case is nearing conclusion. Mr O'Reilly denies the murder of his wife Rachel.